morning, Gators. This is Vincent Hill and Leighton Overby. Today is Wednesday, March 10th, 2021. For lunch today, we will be having hot dog with chili or burrito. For breakfast tomorrow, we will be having chicken biscuit or egg and cheese croissant. Now for the weather. We are starting the day in the upper 30s and should warm up to the low 70s with partly cloudy skies. Tomorrow morning we will be begin we will begin the day in the upper 40s with highs in the mid 70s and mostly cloudy skies. Now, now for some important morning. announcements. This Friday will be a virtual learning day for students. Students will stay home that day. Daylight savings time begins on Sunday. Be sure to set your clocks for one hour. Picture retake day is next Monday. Well, Lotus, it looks like we may have to give up this amazing trophy that the leaf cutter bees won last year. And I don't want to give it up. I know, but the carpenter bees are like in first place. They're doing great. Doing so good, carpenter bees. And then behind them is the, the bumblebees. Mm -hmm. And then we're in third place. Leaf and then cutters. the honeybees are last place. Oh, come on, honeybees. You, you can, can do, do it. it. Come on. You know, it is still winter. It's just it's a little cold and bees are kind of docile right now. But spring is coming, it and is that coming. means we can really start getting on top of these reading books and these projects, which, did you know, all the projects right now until the end of the year are double hexagons, du worth double. Double. You mean if I did a project that was worth two, it would be worth four, four. hexagons? Yes, yes. Oh so my. there's a lot of things that you could be doing to earn those hexagons. Right, and younger grades, they're reading books. They're practicing those reading skills, and they're coloring a hexagon, and when they fill that up, they get to bring it in to put a hexagon for their hive. So even the little guys, our little bee readers, can help the hives. Let us keep our trophy leaf cutters. You can do it. Come and on. everybody, you're doing a really great you job. You are. Keep reading, guys. Keep reading. I think I might try a bookmark project on the next book I read. All right, that sounds good. Lily Dixon earned a hexagon for the leafcutter beehive. Jordan Stoner earned a hexagon for the honey beehive. Us bumblebees need to step it up. Mm -mm. Leafcutter's still going to do it again. I, yeah, okay. Following Gators met their goals and earned their handprint on the Gator Wall of Fame. Mia Wishon, Tanner Cavazos, Christopher Gwynn, Cadence Overby, Haley Tripp, Thomas Brown, Flora Bradley, and Benjamin Hudson. Way to go. Remember to social distance and that we are highly encouraged to wear our mask in places that we can't where we can't social distance. And don't forget to keep your hands clean. Our character word for the month of March is cooperation. Cooperation is when people work together to achieve a common goal. It's important to be cooper cooperative every day at school. Now, now for, for birthdays. birthdays. Today, Today we, we have, have Malachi Floyd. Floyd. Happy birthday! Now for the pledge for, to the American flag. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of, of the United, United States of America, of America and, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now for the pledge to the Georgia flag. I pledge allegiance to the Georgia flag and to the principles for which it stands. Wisdom, justice, and moderation. Now for the Gator pledge. I am a Gator. I pledge to be responsible and respectful too. I pledge to be kind and safe in all that I do. In the Gator zone, I will stay. I will do my best each and every day. At the direction of your teacher, let's now pause for a moment of silence. Make it a great day and be kind. Later, Gators.